Hello everyone, how are you? Today I'm gonna introduce how to write senpai. Senpai is uh, um, the name when you call someone who is older than you or who has a longer experience than you about your work or your sports team. So if you're like uh, in your school, if you're grade 5 and there's the people grade 6, 7, 8, 9 those people you, when you call them you can say senpai it show your respectation respect it show your respect and also uh, at the company if there's a uh, you don't call a boss as a senpai but uh, someone who started working at the company one year earlier than you you can say senpai, you can call them senpai because mm. here people call each other by name so they don't say they don't use this special word if, if, if your co-worker is Steve and they just say hey Steve but in Japan it's better to show your respect so you, you should you better to say senpai. It's like you toward your older friend or former former colleague, colleague, former colleague. Anyway, senpai. Japanese people use a lot. This way is senpai. Sen, saki, is some um, former. And then, pai. Senpai. If you call your younger friends or some people start working later than you, you say kohai. Ato. It's a later. Senpai. Kohai. But, um, it's when you call someone who older than you, you say senpai. So if your your coworker is one year older than you and then has longer experience, uh, Steve senpai, Yuka senpai. But when you call someone who has less experience than you, you don't say kohai. You don't call that person. Hi, ah, Yuka Kohai. You don't say, you just say Yuka. Just as call by name. But when you, because you have to show your respect when you only call the someone who has longer experience and older than you, you put Senpai end of your name or just to, or end of the person's name or just to put the Senpai. That's it. Yeah. Mm. Senpai, you're a senior, no? Uh, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Bye.